Hello everybody and welcome to another video of RNR Partners. My name is Ruxanda and today we're going to talk about five things you should know about Marzi Shore tradition in Romania. But before we go on, a few words about our channel. As you might know, on this channel we post mostly videos about commercial law and immigration law in Romania. But once in a while we like to mix things up and offer you this kind of special editions about Romanian culture and other things that an expat or a foreigner would like to know about Romania. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy our content. Now let's just jump right into it. The first thing you should know about Mărțișor tradition in Romania is when do we celebrate it? Mărțișor is celebrated on the 1st of March each and every year. That's when markets are full of flowers and of course Mărțișoare, which is the plural from Mărțișor. And after the 1st of March, we also have the 8th of March, which is International Women's Day that we also celebrate in Romania. But about this maybe in another video. Now that we know when Romanians celebrate Mărțișor, we should also find out the second thing. What does Mărțișor really represent? So, because Mărțișor is celebrated on the 1st of March, it's of course a symbol of the beginning of spring and new life. However, the word Mărțișor also represents a little trinket that you put in your chest and that traditionally has some sort of special properties, like an amulet. Nowadays, however, we do not put so much emphasis on the mystical properties of this little trinket called Marcișor, but rather on what it represents for us, which is friendship and a great excuse to celebrate spring and the beauties that come with it. Number three, what does Marcișor look like? I'm not wearing a Marcișor myself in my chest right now because it would be really small and hard for you to see so I'll just leave some uh, photos on the screen. In the past, these little trinkets would not be very complex. Usually they involved a four-leaf clover for luck, a miniature chimney sweeper also for luck, or flowers that look more or less like small jewelry. When I was little, in kindergarten or also in primary school, I remember that there were not so many marcișoare sold that we had to reutilize the ones from the last years. Remember, each child would bring their own marcișoare to school. And if you wanted to gift somebody a marcișor, you would either choose one from your collection, or if you are more lazy, you just ask that person to come and choose one for themselves. This little trinket always had a string of um, red and white around it in a bow. Nowadays, there are many more types of marcișoare that are being sold, so it's rather not so eco-friendly because we do not really use the ones from last years and recycle them, like we did when we were little. But each year you have so much diversity in the market that you like to get something new and nice for your friends and family. So now that we know when we celebrate marcișor, what marcișor represents and what marcișor looks like, we can talk about number four, how do we celebrate Mărțișor itself? So this little trinket is usually given to women, but nowadays also to men, as a symbol of spring and of friendship. In some parts of Romania, like Moldova, in the past only um, men would receive Mărțișor from girls. But now the entire country celebrates it more or less the same and everybody can receive a Mărțișor if they like. The tradition has also evolved in some way. Instead of giving somebody marcișor, you could also give them a little bracelet that has a string of red and white or red and white beads. The most important thing is to have the combination of colors right. And some people just jump over this tradition altogether and just like to give women flowers for marcișor. I remember when I was a junior lawyer and I worked in a big law corporation. In my first year when I was there, for Mărțișor, I, br I brought little trinkets for everybody at work. And I was surprised that in that company, was, the tradition was rather for men to give flowers to women. So a combination between Mărțișor and the 8th of March, which is right around the corner and it's International Women's Day. 
In my opinion, I really like Marty Shore should be kept as it is, so we do not combine the two holidays, but some people like to do it that way, so they complicate their life a little less. And last but not least, number five, who celebrates Marty Shore tradition? You might be surprised, but Marty Shore is not only celebrated in Romania. The Republic of Moldova, which used to be part of Romania, celebrates Marty Shore similarly to us, while Bulgaria, the country that is to the south of Romania, is uh, celebrating uh, Martișor in a bit different way. Martișor is called Martenica and it's uh, a string of red and white that is hung in the tree. I'm not a historian, so I'm not really sure how the tradition came to be in more countries in the same area, like the Balkans, but it might be because our ancestors, called Dutch, had the same origins. So because we have the same ancestors, this tradition might be an older one and that's why more countries took it up. So now you know more about Martișor tradition in Romania. If you have any questions about this or anything else that surprised you when you are in Romania for Martișor, please leave a comment down below and share what you learned with the entire community. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we have uh, posts about mostly commercial and immigration law, but also about other things like cultural Romanian things. And speaking about culture in Romania, make sure not to miss our ebook about obtaining Romanian citizenship, because as you might know, if you want to obtain Romanian citizenship, you should know things about our history, geography, constitution, but also about day-to-day -day activities and Romanian culture. And in order to facilitate this process, and make it easier for expats and foreigners to obtain Romanian citizenship, we published an ebook, and you can find the link in the description down below. So, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed our content, and I expect that if you stayed with us until the very end, you enjoyed it a bit, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Up until next time, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.